Hello everyone. Deus Vult. Since the most frequent questions in my Crusadia videos are, what to do when forced to go first? And can you do the expensive version? Well, this video is the answer, because it's impossible to go first with the budget version. This is the full power version of Crusadia. But it's not worth investing, unless going second decks are a thing, and it's worth it to craft board breakers. The main difference other than those expensive board breakers, are the inclusion of going first cards. Crusadia Crawler, and World Crown. Crawler is insane for going first when mixed with other archetypes, because it lets Equimax negate Droplet, and Dark Ruler no more. It also search a World Legacy card on top of that. The problem is, there's only one in archetype negate. Well, we can always play broken cards like Verte and Bagusta, but they're banned here. That said, the other going first strategy is, to end on indestructible Agramax, which is easy, a 2 cards combo from former skipper, and one monster, that can be special summon. We also end with one Crusadia in hand, and a world legacy card, if we searched crawler with regular legs. So the combo is the same as usual up to regular legs, but we are making IP Mascarina using two parallel exceeds, to protect our Agramax, so just link both IP Mascarina and Regulex as the materials. The other problem with this going first build is its price. Avramax and IP Mascarina are both ultra rares, and we need a second copy of Magius, Regulex, and Equinox. So we need two additional ultra rares and two additional super rares, when compared to the going second build. Other than that, I forgot to include another useful free ultra rare, Link 3 Ningursu, in the budget build. It's the best card to beat Avramax because it has non-targeting removal. Still, this pure variant isn't that good for going first. It's better to replace all those going first cards with more board breakers. Other than that, 5-headed Link Dragon is a funny monster. We can summon it with 5 rose tokens, and its attack won't be harmed because it's unaffected by other cards. That's all for today. I think I've nothing left to cover regarding Crusadia, unless I found a new way to play the deck. So I'll share different archetypes in my next videos. And until then, see you again soon.